Hello everyone, this is Gerant with uh, yet another video and a new tanking build. Uh, the tanking build that I am presenting to you today is called Ultimate and it comes in two options, option 1 and option 2. Option 2 will be featured uh, after option 1, so if you're interested in that I'll put in a link and you can click on that. Uh, but let's focus on option 1 and what Ultimate is about. Uh, Ultimate uh, is about uh, faster ultimate regeneration and uh, lower ultimate cost. So that means we can use our ultimate even more often and also use our special passive more often that way. So if you look at Battle Raw, uh, that is pretty much one of the best passives that we have as DK. Uh, once we use an ultimate 70% of the ultimate cost we get back in health, magicka and stamina. So my build focuses on that a little bit, or <laughs> much. And uh, yeah, let's go into uh, what gear I use, and why, and how my champion points are set up, and stuff like that, and my attributes. So let's uh, take a look at the attributes. Uh, as you can see, I am unbuffed currently. I have uh, 9000 Roughly 9,700 Magicka, I have uh, 28,000 health, and I have around 14.5k stamina. Uh, I don't know if you know my, my other build, uh, called the Blockade, but it's pretty much the same uh, allocation, so uh, 62, everything in health. And uh, let's take a look now at... Uh, the gear setup. For the ultimate I'm using a, a different set of gears so basically I'm using a blood spawn set which uh, gives me 50 ulti 15 ultimate as soon as it procs. It's 6% proc chance uh, which also gives me armor and spell resist. The 6% uh, really really often proc uh, so uh, I also uh, put up on YouTube a uh, City of Ash uh, video with that build featured. Uh, I think it's featured featuring option 2 but it's pretty much the same with a little bit um, less chance to get uh, uh, basically the ultimate uh, how should I say that the ultimate is a little bit lower with the, uh, the costs uh, or higher in that case so with that setup I have 10% uh, less ultimate cost and with option 2 I have 15% so uh, that's basically the difference and um, like I said I'm using a blood spawn it's not uh, optimal I still need a better helmet with a better trade <coughs> but the, the gear uh, the, 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 the bonus is there already so that's good so that's one of the bonuses of ultimate. You get 15 ultimate. Then I'm using the footman set with uh, two uh, rings. Uh, the girdle of the footman, the sabatons of the footman and the gauntlets of the footman. So I'm using uh, two exploration trade uh, set items from the footman. Uh, why? Because I need that other spot for the jewelry for the other set, which I'm uh, showing you now. It's basically the Blessing of the Potentate set from PvP. It's very easy to get, and that's the difference from the options. So uh, option 1 I'm presenting to you now is like the uh, cheap version, uh, not in kind of uh, uh, how, the, how the gear setup is, but the uh, cost of the gear. And option 2 is the more expensive one, uh, which we will feed later after that video, like I mentioned before. So, uh, for the blessings of the potentates, I'm using uh, the amulet and the uh, sword and the shield on both bars. So, I'm also getting that, that bonus, and the bonus, as you can see, is stamina recovery, which is really good as tank, since we're blocking a lot and using stamina skills. And it also reduces the uh, ultimate cost of abilities by 10%. So uh, that's the second part of, of ultimate. It reduces the cost of ultimates. Like I mentioned before, for this uh, option 1 it's 10%, for option 2 it's 15% because I'm using another set. 
Dragon Guard Akaviri if you're interested, but uh, for that please uh, check out the other video. And uh, that's pre pretty much the, the gear setup that I have and what is, uh, what is used for uh, the ultimate build. So I, I also use a, a two set of Ash and Grip in that case to get more health. But uh, you can pretty much uh, switch it out for any two sets. So I use it on the on the chest and on the on the on the graves. You can use any two piece set that you want that that gives you a bonus that you that you would like. Uh, I choose health, but you can also choose a crafted set or a drop set with, uh, uh, for example, a two item set with stamina or a two item bonus for magicka whatever you like I mean it's crafted so you can craft it with with heavy you like uh, what I also want to mention is the um, the the traits that I have so like I said sturdy is not what I want I really want to have uh, uh, reinforced to get more armor uh, and for the others I've, uh, I used for the the crafted set also reinforced of course for footman I can't change it so I got the, the only good one is the divines here so for this uh, item set I, I choose to get everything on, on reinforced if possible I'm also thinking of maybe getting that on reinforced uh, because I, I don't know I, I'm using the Lord with for health so yeah I get a little more health now from that but if you want to go reinforced for more armor I mean on, on the shoulder at least for blood spawn if you have that as a job to do it I think it's also good and I personally think that reinforce is better than infused yes you get more enchantment but uh, I think the the bonus for uh, for armor is better to get closer to the mitigation uh, level of like 50 percent at 32,000 K or something yeah so um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, for option one. I also want to quickly show you my uh, champion point allocation. It's actually the same as my ultimate build. Uh, sorry, my uh, my uh, uh, how what it's called? Blackout. My uh, blockade <laughs> taking build. There you go. So um, yeah, it's pretty much the same. I have uh, currently 13 block, uh, 9 for spell resistance, 10 in elemental defender to get the uh, spell absorption bonus for magicka restore, uh, nothing here, then 17 in the warlord to get uh, reduced stamina cost, 2 for magician, I'm going to put that to 20 and that to like 5 when I get more points. On the lover I'm not putting anything in for the moment, I have five, 25 in mooncalf for the Stamina recovery and five in uh, Magicka to get some Magicka recovery. Uh, nothing in the Shadow, nothing in Apprentice, nothing in the Ritual. And for the Echinoc, I have uh, currently 25 in Heavy Weapon and 24 in Blade Expert. Why? Because uh, I'm normally using my Blockade build more than I use my uh, Ultimate build. So, uh, the blockade I'm using uh, maces, uh, one hand maces. But if you are, f if you really want to, to use both uh, uh, builds, then I would suggest to put every point in blade expert, because as you uh, can see, option one as well as option two, uh, you have to take swords as your main weapon. Because also for option two, the, the Dragon Guard Akaviri set also uses the Claw of the Dragon, the one hand sword, so you will only use swords. So I would suggest if you are not using the my other build and, and you use ultimate, then put everything into the one hand. It's up to you. I'm, I just uh, I split up my points. So yeah, currently I have uh, 147 at the time I, I recorded this video. And that's basically the setup that I have for my champion points. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, just post it uh, as a comment on the video. Uh, if you want to watch also option 2, uh, please stay. Uh, the video is coming right after this one. So, 
again, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye bye. Hey, it's me again. Uh, what I forgot to mention for option 1 and option 2 is what food or drinks I use for uh, uh, questing and uh, dungeons and stuff. So uh, let's quickly give you an overview of what I use. So for veteran dungeons and for uh, veteran uh, Dragon Star Arena, I'll use uh, drinks actually. <clears throat> they, uh, I really focus on drinks now. It, it's amazing, I think. It really helps me out. So what I do is for normal, like I said, for normal veteran dungeons like you know Elden Hollow and City of Ash and whatnot, I'm using the drinks uh, with uh, Magicka and stamina recovery uh, because, as you know, my uh, my unbuffed health is already twenty eight thousand, which is way enough for for veteran. Uh, dungeon and uh, VDSA content. Uh, the only thing that is that I'm changing is normally for um, Arena 10 veteran DSA I'm using either the Emperor's or basically any VR 10 that gives you a, a 3 stat bonus as food or uh, a uh, only a, the blue 2, piece, uh, two uh, stat food that gives me uh, health and stamina so I have more health for the for the uh, for higher the battle master for example for trials uh, if you go uh, in trials with the ultimate build I would suggest to use a purple tree food uh, tree food tree stat food uh, because you you will you will need it for more magicka so that the 3000 magicka help for for trials uh, because uh, I'm at like 9k nine and a half k for magic even though if if the if the champion point procs with with the high damage one uh, it's still better <coughs> it's still better that way so yeah basically every content except uh, Arena 10 VDSA and Trials, I, I would highly suggest you test uh, drinks because the regeneration is so good. Uh, as you can see, you get like three, 350 or so uh, with the blue one. Yeah, 372. So 370. And if you see that, I'm way over 1000 stamina recovery and around uh, 900. 900 Magicka recovery that way, so that really really helps, uh, especially for Magicka when you are only at uh, nine and a half. So uh, really, try to test it out, uh, see what you think. I think it's not. It, I think it's not used that much in 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 veteran content. I think, at least from what I know from my guild, uh, and uh, I think it's really nice to 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 change it up a little bit. So. Uh, Give it a try and use drinks, uh, and uh, maybe post what you what you find out and and if you like it. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Dragon Knight tanking build called Ultimate. It's basically a not mainstream tanking build that I am currently testing for endgame content, and I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, what it is about and what gear it is and there is like two options that you can have to for the for the gear and this is option two so let's get into it um, ultimate is basically based on uh, lower ultimate cost and fast ultimate regeneration and for this I have the following uh, setup uh, bear in mind, I it's not completed yet. In that case, that I want to have medium and light on the undaunted parts, the uh, head and shoulders, and the rest on heavy. But uh, I was not lucky enough to get the the undaunted that I needed, so I have six heavy and uh, one medium. So. Let's get into it more in detail. 
So for the helmet, uh, for the helmet I have the blood spawn on the haunted, and for the shoulders a blood spawn, also, which gives me ultimate regeneration, or which gives me 15 ultimate uh, when it procs. It is listed as six percent, which sounds pretty low, but it actually procs a lot. And furthermore, you also get armor and spell resist for uh, six seconds. Then I have the Akaviri Dragon Guard set, five piece. Um, it gives me with the five set bonus a fifteen percent reduced cost of ultimate, so I get ultimate faster with the blood spawn if it procs, and I can uh, use my ultimates uh, for lower cost. So basically, I can cast a uh, faster at lower cost, which is good for our uh, DK uh, passive battle roar. So when we activate the ultimate we restore health, magicka and stamina. So we can do that even more often. Let's get back to that. And the other 5 piece set that I have is the footman set. I have 3 jewelry of the footman and uh, the boots and the gloves or the gauntlets in that case. Uh, you could also go with the uh, clasp of the dragon, so the amulet of the dragon and replace for example the, the girdle of the dragon with the girdle of the of the footman. So it's up to you. I just I mean the the trade is on both not that good. I mean uh, maybe impenetrable is better than uh, exploration but as far as I know only in trials the, the bosses can crit you. I, I don't know if it's even true anymore so if you don't do PvP like I do, I don't do PvP. Uh, impenetrable, yeah. You can't change the trade. And for the weapons, I, I have the claw of the dragon and the shield, the bastion of the dragon, to get the five piece bonus. Like I said before, uh, you will notice I have only a rank one. That's because the the rank twelve version is way overpriced at the moment, at least for me. I don't want to spend, uh, I don't know, three hundred k or so for or 154 each sword, so 300k in total, so uh, yeah, I'll stay with rank 1 for the moment, also for the testing. Uh, I know the, the damage is low, but um, I mean I'm tanking, I block, and the only damage ability that I do is uh, I, I do the, the pierce armor and uh, heroic slash, which is basically uh, reducing the, the damage of, of the mob and stuff, so yeah. For the for the testing and for the moment, I'm on, on veteran rank one item. And for the the enchantments, I have uh, stamina on the shield and uh, hardening on both the, the swords, which basically gives me the, the damage shield. Uh, precise on the dragon is uh, fixed, so you, you can't do anything else there. Uh, same for the shield. Basically for hold the, the set, uh, the, the traits are fixed, so you can't really change anything except for the enchantment. Uh, as you can see, the, the sturdy is also not the best, but as I said, I'm not that lucky yet. So I would say the best would be medium head, uh, reinforced or maybe infused, and for the shoulders, uh, light and divine or yeah, I mean the medium divine is not that that bad, but yeah, I would rather have it like uh, uh, medium and light. So yeah. Okay, what else there is to say? Um, yeah, for the other parts, I have uh, all on stamina, so I have everything on stamina, and the only thing that is not on stamina is the helmet, which is health and. You could, if you, if you need uh, mana, you could slot the mana on, on the shield because it's also a big slot or even on, on, on the chest or the pants. It's up to you. Uh, I'm normally not using many Magicka abilities. Uh, if I need more Magicka, I use food. So if you need more Magicka, uh, go ahead and, and give you some more. 
on the skills, I'm not going into the skills too much because uh, if you have watched my my other build for decay tanking, which is called the blockade, uh, basically I'm using the same champion point allocation and the same skill set. It's basically just that I have other another set and testing out something that is not mainstream so to speak, but uh, I'm currently testing, so far it works pretty well um, if you want to see my attributes, I have everything in health I have very low magicka as I said before, only around 9k if I use food I'm around uh, 12 uh, my maximum health is around 28 and my maximum stamina is 15k so again if you want to remove it for like 600 and put it there it's also no problem. Uh, what I found out or what I tested so far is that uh, in veteran dungeons and even in veteran DSA uh, up from, uh, area, uh, from arena 1 to 9 so basically every arena up till the end boss uh, the drinks are pretty good. Uh, I'm using uh, a Magicka and Stamina Recovery drinks and only for the for the boss in veteran DSA I'm using either the the three three stat food or uh, the normal uh, health and stamina one um, yeah that's basically it for a quick overview um, also as I mentioned before I have option one which is basically a bit cheaper to uh, to get because those uh, dragon parts can be expensive if you are not uh, looking around much so yeah um, maybe also doing some videos for that like I do with my blockade uh, build so expect to see some videos when I do veteran dungeons like City of Ash and Elden Hollow and stuff like that and maybe even veteran DSA uh, so far I haven't tested this build in, um, in trials but uh, I will do it and uh, if I have some videos for that too I will post them also. So yeah, that's for a little overview. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.